Hi, welcome to Martin Audio's special event. My name's Dom Harter and I'm the Managing Director of Martin Audio, alongside looking after the Focusrite Group's other live and installed sound brands. Today, we'll announce two new products, but before we get into all of that, I'd like to give you a quick update on Martin Audio in general. This week, we are here in Barcelona for the ISE show, where our new products will be on display and on demonstration, details of which we'll share at the end of today's presentation. But since not all of you can be at ISE, today's special event will also highlight all of the latest news. The last few years have been extraordinarily challenging for the live and installed sound industry. But like many others, we've seen a huge uplift in business in the last 12 months. Indeed, for Martin Audio, 2022 was a record year for all of us. And I cannot thank our sales partners, our end users, and everybody in the industry for all of their support over the last 12 months. Twice a year at Martin Audio, we have a customer survey. This provides us with our net promoter score, a measure of whether people will recommend Martin Audio to others. They do this through answering lots of questions about the initiatives that we've had to improve our business, about the performance of our products, and about doing business with Martin Audio in general. In the last year, the whole industry has struggled with supply chain challenges, whether that be the global electronics crisis or just turning things back on. Martin Audio has tried very, very hard, but the reality is our lead times have increased. Despite this, for the second time in a row, we've had a net promoter score of 70, a world-class score. As I said, we will continue to make improvements across the business over the coming years and use this as a platform to build for the future from. One of the initiatives that we've been working on is really how to improve Martin Audio's uh, sustainability. Whether that be improvements back in the UK uh, at our factory, uh, whether it be the carbon footprint analysis of all of the products that we manufacture and then developing roadmaps as to how we transition those towards a net zero target. One of our first initiatives in this area has been working with experts at Ecology and their trusted partners to plant 50,000 trees as part of a wide project to improve biodiversity. In addition to that, for every Taurus cabinet, Wavefront Precision cabinet or MLA cabinet that Martin Audio sells, we will continue by planting a further tree each time. Talking of Taurus, we announced the T12 back in 2021 with its 15 degree and 30 degree variants. Taurus was our first set of constant curvature products aimed at coverage for 15 to 30 meters uh, of throw, perhaps an area where a point source product would struggle or a full blown line array wouldn't be cost effective. I'm delighted to share some of the results and feedback we've had since that time. Taurus has been a runaway success, exceeding four times our original sales plans. It's been taken up by system integrators and rental companies alike, showcasing the flexibility and nature of Taurus. Everything from fills, distributed systems, centre clusters, gracing many, many stages, whether it be the main PA or a fill, whether it be an install, a festival or a house of worship. As a result, it's no wonder in our latest survey that customers have become a fan of our Taurus product giving it a, a nine out of 10 rating. To learn more about the success of Taurus and what we've been up to as a result, let's run the video.
As you can see from the video presentation, today we are announcing Taurus 8. Welcome to the family. T820, to give it its model number, is a two-way passive constant curvature loudspeaker, engineered for small to medium scale applications which do not call for those longer throw capabilities of a line array. T820 offers 100 by 20 degrees of coverage pattern. It's a highly compact design and weighs just 14 kilograms or 31 pounds. It's a durable plywood enclosure finished in hard wearing textured paint and incorporates simple handles for easy installation and deployment, as well as fixings for pole mounting and the like. The grille covers the whole of the front of the product, giving a very discreet appearance when deployed. Its small size and portability extends its range of applications from sound and permanent installation to corporate events, gigging musicians and DJs. The T8 features a single 8-inch LF driver. Above that, it's supplemented by two 1.4-inch voice coil, high-temperature polymer dome neodymium compression drivers. Martin Audio's design philosophy is to use multiple small high-frequency drivers instead of one large compression driver. This gives greater high frequency extension with low distortion and better transient response. Similar to its big brothers, the T820 features a phase bung in front of the LF driver to improve its mid-band sensitivity and clarity of vocal prediction. This means it has a naturally rising response. As you build clusters and arrays of products, the LF sections couple together to give us a more rising response in the LF, meaning that we have the overall correct frequency response for the product. This all adds up together for an impressive 130 dB of output and a signature sound that isn't compromised even when driven hard. I'm also delighted today to announce the new flying cardioid subwoofer that partners the T820, the S XCF115. The product features a 15 inch driver in the front and a 12 inch driver in the back. And those are independently processed uh, uh, and amplified. And together, that means we're able to make a cardioid dispersion pattern where behind the loudspeaker, the processing cancels out the two drivers. And in the front, the two drivers constructively add together to give more output. In terms of rear rejection, it's around 21 dB at 43 Hz and around 28 dB up at 75 Hz. So much quieter on stage than a conventional 15 inch subwoofer. And then out front, we get a couple of dB gain as those drivers add together. And again, that's 2 dB more gain than our standard 15 inch subs. To support T820 and its subwoofer partner, the SXCF115, we have a full accessory suite to enable highly flexible deployment. For ground stack solutions, we have pole adapters that can be mounted on stands or on the sub. We have ground stack frames that enable a number of units to be used together and then tilted up and down to cover the audience frame uh, on any subwoofer configuration from Martin Audio. And when flown, it can be flown horizontally or vertically from a truss with a single scaff clamp for larger arrays with its own grid. And indeed that grid also works as a transition frame when we fly it underneath the SXCF115. Systems can be designed in our 3D software platform, Display3, optimizing the coverage to deliver consistent and defined results in the venue. Taurus, has a pair of NL4 connectors on the back. Despite being a passive enclosure, you're able to send signals to pins one and to pins two. And then via a switch on the rear of the product, we're able to select which signal is fed to the passive crossover network. This enables us to have two 
independent processing channels on a single four core cable going up to the array. The fully passive cabinets are powered by Martin Audio Icon amplifiers, which of course support Dante integration. The systems are then fired up and controlled via our ViewNet software. One really nice feature on the front of the product is that Taurus 8 includes an LED indicator. This can be illuminated via ViewNet to confirm the identity of that loudspeaker on the network. So there you have it. Two-way constant curvature loudspeaker, 100 by 20 degrees of coverage, featuring an 8-inch neodymium LF driver supplemented by a pair of 1.4-inch dome compression drivers with enhanced mid-band sensitivity and a really impressive 130 dB of output, all supported with a full suite of accessories, subwoofer integration and software and amplifier support, together making a complete system solution. And most importantly, this is available now. This isn't some vaporware launch with availability in 10 months in the future. These units are in production back at the factory in the UK. And for those that are in attendance at ISE this week, you can see our latest products front and center of our stand H200 in Hall 7, as well as on demo in our audio room F1 in Hall 8, with all details available on our website. It just leaves me time to say a big thank you for taking time out of your day to join us today. And hopefully I'll see some of you at ISE this week and the rest of you out in the market over the next 12 months. Thank you.